I'm going to shift to the, the gap. Now, we've talked about it at length. I'll just kind of structure this with slides so our friends online can also uh, uh, sort of consume the same information. By the way, I'll repeat this here. My name is Haseeb Badani. I'm the CEO of Rafi. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and let's talk about the gap. So re-articulating the same point, right? What is the purpose? The purpose is, you know, be like CSPs, be like Mike. You can do that, you can make money. So, okay, this is what I promised the other day when we spoke, right? So what does it mean to be a CSP? So this, this slide, I will tell you, I've had two hour conversations on with people. This is a, this, this is a contentious slide for many people. Uh, because basically what I'm claiming is that if you cannot deliver true self-service consumption, you're not a cloud. If you, I cannot go to your portal, mm -hmm. set up an account, get access, and you can stop, you know, control my access because you need to do some back channel. By the way, we can support that too, right? So there's a concept called KYC, know your customer, mm -hmm. right? Where you have to validate that this is not some, you know, unknown or Chinese entity. Um, yeah, you can go to that process in the back till then we'll hold them. They can look around, but they can't consume anything. And then once you say in the back system, good, we will let them in. Mm -hmm. it, but it should be self-service. If you cannot do true self-service, I am arguing that you're not a cloud. Agreed. Good. Yeah, I, would, I would add that's even happening in the rack, uh, rack scale compute space as well, right? Yep. The next generation is happening. There's not build your own fabrics and infrastructure, right? Yeah. Right at rack scale. GPU clouds have spreadsheets that they maintain. Doesn't matter what their websites say. Doesn't matter what their blocks say. Spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll, make, I'll take it one better, right? So bare metal servers is one thing, right? If you don't sell me actual applications, like an experience, you're not a cloud. Right. And this is where people fight. People fight for this. No, because all my customer wants are bare metal servers. Okay, all right. That's a great business, you're making money. I don't, my, my definition, sorry, you're not a cloud. Mm -hmm. You got to sell an app, a tool, a platform, whatever words you want to use, you got to sell one of those things. A developer should be able to consume it for a use case they have. Bare metal is not it. Because then somebody in ops or whatever, somebody's got to take it from here and make it ready for a developer. No. Now that may be a use case and you should service that customer as well, but you must be able to service a developer. Fighting words. And the third one, multi-tenancy. Multi-tenancy means many things. In, a, in, in two slides, I'll, I'll, I'll explain my definition of multi-tenancy at a high level. So, so we all agree with these things. This is just to set up, uh, particularly for as, as we look at the, the product demo. Well, I, I quibble with things uh, in the back end like multi-tenancy. Yes, sir. Um, I think it's uh, it's really about the, the self-service on-demand experience more than anything else. I mean, uh, uh, for Azure really came around for many years. M M365 was not multi-tenant. And it worked just fine. Yeah, and it worked fine on demand. So, so uh, I think that- Single tenant SaaS at that time. Yeah. Yeah, which is completely okay. Yeah. So, uh, so long as you can hide it, I guess is the answer, right? Question is, did they hide it? They, had it, they hid it very well, right? Because I log in, I do whatever the hell I want to do, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's not my problem. See well, how it's intentionally, it it's intentionally yeah. opaque because it was better for them at the time. Mm -hmm. And then over time, they made it multi-tenant because multi-tenant over time is cheaper. Actually. That, right, that was a benefit to them that they could pass on. Yes, sir. So That's a margins optimization, that, that's, that, that's their problem. But from an experience perspective, I'll just switch a couple of slides, I'll go back to them later to make the point that we're discussing right now, right? So here's my definition of multi-tenancy. So there's a lot of things that happen under the covers and let's talk about them here. Somebody comes and says, and I, I used this example before, uh, I want 64 GPUs. Slurm, or whatever, you know, Slinky and Kubernetes. Uh, or somebody else comes and says, I just need a single GPU, man. I just started my journey. I don't even know what the hell this is. Just give me ML flow, mm -hmm. and I'll take it from here. At least I'll read some blogs. Okay, so now what needs to happen for both of these customers to be happy in a self-service way? Now, yes, we can create two different accounts for them. Absolutely true, right? So both companies have, or rather, each company has its own account and environment. I'm wasting money, but it's my problem. As a provider, not your problem, you get a great experience, right? But now let's look at the second level, right? So for me to give somebody, let's look at the left side, then we look at the right side, right? Mm -hmm. So for me to service a customer who wants a single GPU, what needs to be true? 
So let's start at the bottom. I need to create a secure VM. Ah, yeah, my, my friend's already there. How do I get there, right? Mm -hmm. So I got a server. Let's say it's got eight GPUs. You want one. Not eight, one. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give you one and then waste my seven. That's bad business. Or maybe it's, maybe it's again, my problem. Maybe I, I'm okay to waste a seven. Yeah. Okay, I should have some VM, some conclave, right? So I have some, some hypervisor layer on top of which we can deploy VM. Let's argue it's KVM. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I need an OS deployed. Uh, the OS I should have the image so that the tools that I need should be deployed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right, otherwise what is the point of this, right? right. Uh, okay, then I need to access it. I'm not in your data center, I'm at home. Mm -hmm. I need a public IP. Where's that gonna come from? Who's gonna manage my IPAM for public IPs? Mm -hmm. And then that public IP hits a firewall, mm -hmm. and then I need rules so that my traffic can go to my VPC. Where did the VPC come from? Who is going to do this for? All of this is inclusive in the definition of multi-tenancy. If you don't do all of this, this is not a network. This is not a cloud. If I got to ask somebody, hey, can you go set up a VLAN? It's not a cloud. Again, my definition, my friend. We may disagree. No, 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 no. I, I, I get where you're coming from, and that actually refers to the original definition of cloud mm -hmm. before all of this. Agree. Salesforce and Gartner and everybody started stepping in, but uh, I think the 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 focus on the on the tenant experience is the is the important part. Absolutely. Half scale up, scale down. I'm I'm in control. I'm defining the environments I need. Self service. Self service. Yeah. yeah. See, self service. This, multi dimensional self service. All of this is to serve one goal. Self-service. Mm -hmm. The goal is self-service, mm -hmm. but to get there, these other things must be true. Right. And because self-service, what? So I need to do something. I need an app. Oh, I call it apps. By the way, sometimes my friends at NVIDIA say, nah, not everything is an app, it's a tool. NIM is not an app, NIM is a tool. It's an agent. Is it's an, oh yeah, some things are agents. Oh, now. don't say that word. <laughs> so in this Accenture. room. Okay. I like that even better. I was about to tell you to serve at Accenture, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're a Gentech framework. I bet they buy it, I will not do that. But see, the same problem applies on the other side now, right? So if somebody says, I want 64 GPUs, which mm. usually means eight servers, these eight servers somehow have to exist. They need to be networked together. Yep. Yeah. So I need to uh, assume for a minute this is an infinite band environment, right? So I need a new, new P key for this tenant. I need to tie the east-west for all these together so I can j mesh the GPUs. Mm -hmm. Then I need a new VLAN so I can do uh, north-south traffic across these servers, because otherwise this is a non-network. And then all of them have to be uh, uh, you know, in their own quote unquote uh, VPC, but VRF, right? And then I need to get access to these servers. Again, same problem, I need IP addresses that are public so I can hit them and blah, blah, blah. All of this must happen. You know, but the hyperscalers do this today. We don't even think about this anymore. Right. I just get an EIP, just magic, right? right? But now our new friends building GPU environments, I have to take a second to think, well, what do I call it, a cloud or not? <laughs> GPU environments must do all of this work. If they do not, it's not a cloud. And while you're at it, please make sure Nickel or Rickel works and the collective infrastructure and libraries. I got to show you a demo another day. Yes. I got to show you a demo another day. Okay. So my, my colleagues have done such an amazing job with some of these problems. Uh, of course, we don't solve every problem in the stack, but we solve a very large percentage of this. Uh, and I'll talk about that for sure uh, before we, we part ways today. Right. But this is, this is the definition of multi-tenancy to go back to this. But I think this was a good... Uh, question asked at the right time because now that we agree on this, we go back to the primary thing, right? The goal is self-service, right. self-service consumption. But self-service consumption of what? Some app. I want to go to a right. portal. I want an endpoint. I just want to consume a model. Mm -hmm. I, all I want to do is try that. I just give me some, give me some curl example. I just want to hit this endpoint and ask a dumb question. I think you hit it right in the title. It's apps or tools. It's an endpoint. It's a model. Uh, it's yeah. Jupyter Notebook. Use case, right? Let's call it a use case, right? Depending on your need, Juniper Notebook. I'll show you a demo of that before the end of the day, right? So this is what we believe is the right answer, and we believe this is the opportunity. Now, I'm using our product screenshots to show you what our product does. Mm -hmm. So clearly the point here is we do these things, and of course we'll go into this in a minute. To say that if, 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 the, if the goal is to actually have uh, apps and tools available, and you're not really caring about GPUs, quote unquote, then we need to throw out GPU as a service. <laughs> oh, so done. I would Don't agree, ma'am. Done. Yep. <laughs> so I would say that, look, so when, so there's a phrase CPU as a service. Have you guys heard of it? Mm -hmm. 
You have? I just made shit up, right? It's not, nobody says that. Nobody says CPU is a service. Mm -hmm. Why don't they say CPU is a service? Nobody ever said that. I can nobody get a BIM server. That. Nobody cares for that, right? I, I can get a VM. EC2 happens to have x86 in it. Right. No, but there's everything as a service. There you so. go. Uh, sure, right. right? But the point being that we created a, a new concept called GPU as a service to your plan, ma'am, right. which, uh, which, which was the need for the time because the market was so early. Mm -hmm. right? But the market is actually maturing pretty fast. Actually, it's quite amazing to see the things people are building uh, in enterprises. It's actually quite fascinating. Microservices now, consistently we see people have some basic ragging happening in internal applications. Actually pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, but none of them are thinking about the GPU in itself. In fact, I just care about the model that I heard about. Uh, the fact that uh, you know the the full fledged version of DC R one requires eight GPUs is not my problem. But the but the what do they call it the uh, what's the what's the what's the short the, the reduced version of DC called what's the word distilled. distilled. I was thinking filtrated, which is obviously wrong. Distilled. <laughs> yes, the distilled version runs on a single GPU. Yep. But it's not my problem. Mm -hmm. I just use the I use the model.